Well, welcome back to Sex, Brains and Money. Thanks for tuning in today. We just had a really great interview with Christian telling us about why it is that he likes to see ladies and escorts. And uh, now we're going to completely switch gears and talk to Helen Lee from the Living City Foundation. Thanks for joining us today, Thanks Helen. Thanks for having me here. Thank you. So, uh, as I was talking about in the very first segment, I mean, I, I think that being able to give gifts to charity on behalf of your loved ones is a really great way to celebrate the holidays. But why don't you tell us a little bit about the Living City Foundation and what it is that you do? Okay, so the Living City Foundation supports the hands-on conservation work that the Toronto Region Conservation Authority, also known as the TRCA, mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. So we've had over 50 years of experience to help people to understand, enjoy, and look after the natural environment. Mm -hmm. We are, well, the main mission is the living city, which is to create a cleaner, greener, and better place for people to live. Great. Well, I can say for sure that Bon Bon really enjoys the uh, conservation areas in Toronto because we take her hiking there all the time. But uh, what's so special about the program that you offer? What's special about the gifts that people can give? So what we're offering is the gifts of a local nature, mm -hmm. which is unique in that, like TRCA's work, it is not symbolic, it is real, it is something that we do. For example, you can adopt a bird, you can build a bird home, you can plant seed trees or seedlings. Mm -hmm. So that's what makes us unique. Okay, so why would you want to give a gift of local nature? Like what is it specific to the area that makes it so desirable? So we are a local based organization. So for example, if you adopt a bird, you might adopt a red cardinal or a blue jay that you would perhaps see in your own backyard. Mm -hmm. And during the holiday season, people like to give gifts that matters. Mm -hmm. So this is a feeling of not only are you making a donation to a very worthy organization in support of the work, but also you can make it in honor of a friend or a family. Mm -hmm. Well, I can say one thing for sure. Bon Bon loves chasing birds. So <laughs> if I'm going to give a gift to, on her behalf, it might be a bird, but uh, she hasn't quite figured out how to catch them yet, which is probably a good thing. So is this something that's holiday specific or do you do this year round? No, this is um, available all year round. So um, we, we just started rolling this program out during the Christmas because we think it'll be a great program to give as a Christmas present. However, you can also give to birthdays, anniversaries, or maybe just I want to give a gift. Mm -hmm. so. Well, there's, there's no better reason to do that than, you know, just out of the goodness of your heart. So is it, it I guess it's not something that you have to do just a one-time thing. You can do it on a recurring basis as well? Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. And so would you recommend that, you know, people move towards uh, trying to give a monthly donation if possible? Oh, definitely. We are, we're always seeking support from donations. And I mean, one-time donation is great, but monthly support is a continuous support and sometimes I I tell my donors, $5 a month, which is less than a McDonald's meal. Mm -hmm. And you could be contributing to so much work. You can be helping clean the air, clean your water. There's so much things you can do. Mm -hmm. Well, it's certainly better for the body to be able to enjoy those conservation areas and go for hikes and stuff as opposed to buying McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Lord knows it's not the best for your physique. But uh, So what is it that uh, donors will get for their gifts when they give something to the Living City Foundation? What do they get out of it besides the feeling of positivity? Exactly. So all gift purchasers will receive a one-year membership to the Tommy Thompson Park Bird Resource Station. Mm -hmm. And all gift recipients will receive their certificates that will, for example, if you adopt a bird, it will state which bird you've adopted, mm -hmm. uh, what type of bird, the age, the sex, and it will give you a brief description. And you can hang, you can print out the certificates and you can hang it on the wall. So it gives you a good feeling every time you look at the certificates and say, oh, you know, I adopted a bird. Mm -hmm. I planted seedlings. And it makes you feel sort of a personal connection to your gift as opposed to just, you know, oh, I randomly gave money to some organization and, you know, never heard from them again or anything Definitely. Like that. Great. So is there anything else that your organization is doing that you'd like to talk about? Is there anything else you'd like to highlight? So we were, I was just mentioning that it would be great. We're trying to build up our monthly donors. So we are definitely seeking more monthly donors um, to contribute to our organization and support our work. Mm -hmm. And we have many, many projects um, out there and events. So by all means, please Please feel free to go on our website, www.thelivingcity.org, mm -hmm. and you will find so much information on there. 
Great. Well, you know what? Thank you so much for coming and telling us about your organization. I really support the work that you do, and I think that it's amazing that you can have, you know, such a local focus, and that way you, you really, you can see the benefits of your donation, and you can actually, it's almost as if it could be tangible, and uh, the seedlings, I mean, I remember when my dad uh, planted trees in the backyard at the top of the hill uh, when I was in my uh, early teens, and then when I finally moved out in my early 20s, I saw how big those trees had gotten, and uh, made me feel really good to see how things had progressed. So, anyways, thanks again for joining us today. Thank you. All right, so there we have Helen Lee from the Living City Foundation, who has told us all about her organization. I highly encourage you to look them up with, at www.thelivingcity.org. And if you're so inclined, give a gift to a family member or a friend or a loved one on their behalf, because I really think that they're a great organization and really support what they do. So we're just going to take a short commercial break, and then I'll be back with a wrap-up. So stay tuned. Yeah.